Quack, 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 everybody. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, final review for tonight. I promise it'll be quick. Uh, so it's finally done, y'all. Um, this review is of the first season, season one, which just ended just a little bit ago, of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers. This is a show based on... Oh, and I'm Grand Movie TV guy. Uh, so this is a, a show based on the popular Disney film trilogy, which is also a really cruddy animated show in the 90s. This is a more direct adaptation. It stars Lauren Graham and uh, returning to the role of Emilio Estevez as Gordon Bombay. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been, you know, it's uh, two decades later or so. Um, the Ducks have now become a major organization and are led by um, a new kind of mean-spirited coach named Coach T, played by Riley from Letterkenny. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> that's how you get the W, boys. Beep you, Jersey. Beep you, Jersey. Beep you, Riley. <laughs> Tell your mom to top off the bank account you got for me. I want to buy some KFC, you loser. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So she's, um, or so he, uh, Lauren Graham's son is cut from the Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks have become kind of a, a corporatized, you know, entity, basically. And um, her son, played by Brady Noon of Good Boys fame, um, is told, listen, why bother? Like, you, you're not going to make it. And Lauren Graham says, you know what? We're going to make a team of our own. We're going to call ourselves the Don't Bothers. And so together, um, they go to the Ice Palace and bond with uh, Gordon Bombay, the coach of the Ducks in the original film series, once again played by Emilio Estevez, who has fallen on hard times, has had some hardships, and together they change the game and uh, become underdogs once again. Look, uh, Mighty Ducks Game Changers, if you've seen the Mighty Ducks movies, you've seen this, but that's okay, because like the Mighty Ducks movies, this show is really pretty good. Uh, it's charming, has a lot of heart to it, has a lot of humor. Lauren Graham is a perfect lead. Anyone who watched Gilmore Girls or Parenthood or her brief tenure on the criminally underrated uh, Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist knows she's got it. And, um... Brady Noon's a fine young actor. All the young actors are quite good. Emilio Estevez is, of course, terrific once more. And Gordon Bombay. Not much more to say about it. Uh, if you've seen The Mighty Ducks, you've seen The Mighty Ducks Game Changers, but you know what? It's enough for me. I'm going to give The Mighty Ducks Game Changers four stars out of five. This was a really, 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 really fun kind of long-form take on the movie. And it ended in a way where it didn't... Um, it didn't take... It, 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 it left it open, I guess, but it was it it completed the story, which was good. Um, how much more to say, you guys? Yeah, four out of four, four to five stars for Mighty Ducks Game Changers. All right, one more little note before I go. So tomorrow, I think we're gonna switch up the order a little bit. I'm gonna do Kaminsky Method tomorrow and Lucifer on Saturdays. We Lucifer is eight episodes that are like an hour long. Kaminsky Method is six episodes that are about 25 minutes. I'm just going to do Kaminsky tomorrow because I'm going to have more time on Saturday. So that's what we're going to do. We're also going to do a Quiet Place Part 2. We're also going to do um, Bo Burnham Inside um, and Corella on Monday. So, um, yeah, that'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, I love you all, Class Smith. I love you, 2000. Be kind to one another. Let's go, Ducks. Um, all right. Check out the show. It's really good. Um, thank you all. Take care. Good night.